Hey, how's it going? Ben here. Great to see you again. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to be talking about opening a bank account here in Thailand. Now, I'm making this video because if you are about to move to Thailand, if you live in Thailand already, or if you plan to stay here for a long term, then probably one thing on your list of things to do, which may be a very long list of things to do, is to open a bank account. Now, opening a bank account has a lot of benefits. It means you don't have to um, carry cash with you all the time. It means that every time you go to an ATM machine, you're not having to pay like a conversion and a transaction free using a foreign bank card in a Thai ATM machine. And it also means that if you're working here, if you're living and earning a salary here, then it means you have somewhere that your um, employer can pay you directly. As with all things, when living in a foreign country, banking and opening a bank account can be a little bit daunting and a little bit challenging and a little bit confusing at first. I hope to help you in this video get your head around um, a few different things that are potentially unique about banking in Thailand. I intend to give you an overview of a few of the banks here in Thailand. So we'll talk about a few. We'll talk about a few that I hear are good and are friendly to foreigners. We'll, I'll talk about a few that I have experience with myself, giving you an idea of where to start when looking for a bank in Thailand to use. Towards the end of this video, I will also give you an overview of what to expect when opening a bank account and give you a list of documents you will probably need when you go to apply and open up a bank account here in the kingdom of Thailand. All right, so banking in Thailand, opening a bank account in Thailand as a foreign national. Banking in Thailand can be a little challenging, as I'm sure it is in any foreign country. However, it is possible to open a bank account as a foreign national in Thailand. So the first thing you'll probably be happy to hear is that it is definitely possible to open a bank account in Thailand. With that being said, let's get into a few things that may be a potential challenge or obstacle when opening a bank account, or a few things that you should know before opening a bank account here in Thailand. So first up, um, policies can be bank specific and can vary from bank and even branch. So policies um, for banks vary from bank to bank in Thailand. They have lots of different policies, lots of different procedures um, and all that kind of stuff. So you do need to be um, in the know. You do need to ask a lot of questions before you choose a bank. Um, but what is a little bit strange and potentially a bit unique to this part of the world is that the policies can actually vary quite massively from location. So in the north of Thailand or in the south, maybe there's different policies on the same bank in different branches. And also th this is definitely true for in tourist areas and outside of tourist areas. So if you're in a tourist area, likely the bank will be more um, foreigner friendly, have more experience um, banking with foreign nationals. So I may be able to help you a little bit more. The reason why I wanted to stress this point is that maybe a bank or maybe a branch um, won't offer you what you require or what you're after, um, but don't let that put you off. Definitely have a look around, definitely try and ask at a different bank and even maybe even just a different branch of the same bank may even be able to help you. So um, bear that in mind when you're banking in the kingdom. The next thing I wanted to point out to you is that it is possible to open a bank account as a tourist. However, not at all banks or branches. So once again, I have seen it online. I've heard people um, claiming this fact. I've also known a couple of people who were here as tourists, meaning they didn't have um, a specific non-immigrant visa, they were on the tourist visa, who were able to open a bank account and start banking in Thailand. Now, this is definitely one of those things that will vary from bank to bank and branch to branch. Like I mentioned before, in the tourist areas, banks will typically be a little bit more foreigner friendly. That's because they have more experience. They know what they're doing when they're dealing with foreign nationals. So if you are a tourist um, or you're on a different type of visa that's not a non-immigrant visa and you want to open a bank account, you probably can. And we will talk about which bank specifically in a moment it, later on in this video are more um, foreigner friendly, especially when it comes to kind of tourists opening bank accounts. When it comes to which bank accounts you'll probably be opening, um, the easiest account to open and the most common is a saving account. So those typically are the type of accounts foreigners will open and use, and that's what I use myself. With that brief introduction and overview of banking in Thailand and a few points I wanted to highlight, let's move on and look at some of the different banks here in Thailand, which 
bank specifically may be a good bank for you. What I intend to do now is to give you a few different names, a few different banks, uh, just to let you know what is out there and maybe you can then go on and research these banks further. Um, obviously, I don't know what's the best bank for you, so you'll have to do um, the research on your own later on after watching this video, hopefully. Uh, and hopefully I get you off um, set in the right direction. So what we'll do is we'll talk about some of the different banks. Um, I'll let you know which banks I've heard are very foreigner friendly. And we'll also talk about the bank that I currently bank with and my reasons for banking with them. Okay, so first up is one of the biggest and most well-known banks in Thailand, and that is Bangkok Bank. Now, Bangkok Bank is very foreigner friendly. In fact, they have a um, specific page on their website um, for foreign customers that you can go and look at, which is pretty unique um, to banks in Thailand. There's a link at the bottom of this screen now uh, that will take you to this page. I will also leave that link in the description to this video. So if you wanna check it out yourself, you can. If you go to Google and Google banking in Thailand as a foreigner or opening a Thai bank account, probably one of the most recommended banks will be Bangkok Bank. Not only because it is the most popular, most well-known bank in Thailand, it does also have the reputation for being one of the most foreigner friendly, especially if you're in Bangkok, Pattaya, Phuket, or any of the big expat or tourist centers in Thailand then you'll probably be able to open a bank account with Bangkok Bank. At least that's what I hear online. Bangkok Bank has a great reputation and probably is a great bank to start looking into if you're looking at opening a bank account in Thailand. As I mentioned, if you Google bank accounts in Thailand, opening a bank account as a foreigner in Thailand, um, one of the banks that always gets recommended is Bangkok Bank. Um, also, another bank that quite often gets recommended is K Bank or Kasiklan Bank as its um, full name is. So this is another bank that I don't actually have any experience dealing with. However, it was highly recommended online. I saw lots of blogs, uh, lots of discussions about Bangkok Bank and K Bank online, and them being very foreigner friendly, especially in places like Bangkok. So if your greatest concern is the bank being foreigner friendly and being easily able to open a bank and start banking immediately, then I definitely would look at Bangkok Bank and K Bank first as they have very good reputations for being foreigner friendly here in Thailand. So as I mentioned, Bangkok Bank and K Bank are the two most recommended banks online that I seem to have found. Now I do want to add another bank that I have heard is very foreigner friendly and that is Krung Si. So Krung Si Bank, the bank that will often be in yellow. Um, I went to add this bank to the list because I personally know someone, I personally know a couple of people actually, who have opened banks with Krung C. I I know these people and they weren't working in Thailand, they weren't uh, on the um, working visas, they weren't on a retirement or marriage visas, they were on um, the tourist visa or the education visa, and on those types of visas they were still able to open bank accounts here in Thailand with Krung C. So potentially, this is once again another bank that you should look into if your main concern is opening a bank account and you're not perhaps married, you're not perhaps working in Thailand. Um, so yeah, this could potentially be a bank that would help you open an account. So those banks have a reputation for being foreigner friendly. And the main reason they have that reputation is because they have a reputation for, or they have policies that allow foreigners to open bank accounts even if they're not working in Thailand. And that is quite massive because many banks in Thailand um, as a requirement will ask to see a work permit. And obviously if you're not working in Thailand um, and you're not on the right visa to be working in Thailand, you won't have the work permit. So you won't be able to show it to open an account. So those three banks are definitely the ones I would recommend you look into if you're not working in Thailand or you're not on a non-immigrant visa. So definitely check those banks out. They all have great reputations and I hear online they're very good and i know a couple of people like i said who have banked with krung si without having a work permit so i do think it is possible in certain areas that is okay and next up is the only bank that i have personal experiences and that is krung thai bank and i have personal experience with this bank because this is the bank account i use whilst living and working in Thailand. Now, this bank is perfectly fine. I have no complaints with this bank. I didn't actually research banks a terrible amount before I opened my bank account uh, when I got to Thailand. And that is because this bank was recommended by my school. So my school had a sort of a relationship with a local bank, which was had a branch very close to our school. Um, and 
when you're working at a school, sometimes they will encourage you to open up a bank account with a certain bank because maybe all the staff typically use that bank and maybe it's easier for admin to send to the same bank perhaps. So I think that's my reason why. Also, maybe it's just location, maybe it's just close to the school and they think that will be easier or they know someone there and they know they've opened banks for foreigners working at that school before. So maybe they have a little bit of a relationship with that bank. Maybe it's easier if everyone's with the same type of bank. I'm not 100% sure on why my school pushed me to this bank, um, but those are my theories at least. And those are the reasons why I simply opened up a bank account uh, with this bank because I was fresh in Thailand. I didn't really know too much and I just kind of took the recommendation. And I don't have any complaints about it. I, I am reasonably happy with Krung Thai. I've always been very happy with the customer service I've received with Krung Thai. They have an amazing banking application, which is really cool. Most banks in Thailand have a great mobile banking application, in fact. And there are many things here that people pay for on their phone using scan, paying utility bills. A lot of stuff we don't do in the UK is all done on the mobile phone and through the banking app. And Krung Thai has a great banking app. I'm very impressed with it. I know that most banks do. Um, I've seen a few of the other banking apps that are all like pretty much of a match. Um, so yeah, that is something that I would say is very good about this bank in my experience. And like I said, this is actually the only bank I have real experience with. This is the bank that um, I was encouraged to open and I've been happy enough with. So I've never really changed. Um, in the last five years. So I've been banking with Krung Thai for quite a bit now and have no complaints. They're a good bank. Um, so yeah, maybe if you're working, maybe this is a bank to consider um, for yourself. So that is Krung Thai Bank. And the next bank is also a bank that is recommended um, by colleagues, by people I work with, and that is SCB. SCB, Siam Commercial Bank. Uh, now, once again, I don't really have any personal experience with this bank. However, I do read good things online. And more importantly, uh, my current school is they recommend you use SCB and I know a lot of teachers who use SCB and they all seem to be very happy with SCB. I've seen the app, it looks very good, it looks very similar to the Krung Thai app uh, and I think SCB even has like investor accounts um, that you may be able to get access to. Um, I don't really know people who do that too much, not foreigners who do that. I know a couple of Thai citizens who do invest through SCB um, investing accounts but yeah, SCB is a bank that seems pretty impressive to me. Um, I know a few people, I know quite a few people who bank with SCB. They seem to have a lot of features. So yeah, potentially this would be a bank I would look to if I wanted to change. That's why I included it. And it's also the second bank that has been recommended to me personally in Thailand um, whilst I've been here. So I thought I would share that bank with you. All right, so those are the banks that I wanted to perhaps recommend you look into further. Now, if I did leave any bank off this list, it's not because I don't think they're a good bank. It's simply I don't have any experience. I don't know anything about them. Perhaps I don't even know of their existence. So yeah, it's, don't take this as like the only list to bank with. If you find a new bank, then definitely the, that ticks all the boxes for you, then definitely go with them. I just wanted to give a few banks, perhaps for people who've never been to Thailand and don't know about any of the banks, I wanted to give a list of a few banks so you at least know where to start. And I also wanted to share a few things, a few thoughts perhaps that I have on those banks. So I hope you found that useful. Um, next, we'll look at um, opening. We'll have a little bit of an overview of opening a bank account in Thailand and the documents you will probably need if you're going to open a bank account here in Thailand. So once you've decided on your bank, the next thing you'll be um, looking to do is to open a bank account. And probably the next question you'll have is what documentation will you need? What is required um, to open a bank account here in Thailand? So I thought I would try and put together a list of the things I needed and the things that may you may need when opening a bank account in Thailand. All right, so documents you will need to open a bank account in Thailand. All right, so no surprises. First up is your passport. You will need your passport if you're going to go and open a bank account in Thailand. You will also need a proof of address. So these are the two most essential pieces of documentation. You'll need your passport and you may need, or you probably will need a proof of address. This is to show that you're at least staying in Thailand for the medium to long term. Uh, so yeah, maybe this would be a contract with a condo. Uh, maybe this would be a work permit. A work permit works as a proof of address. Maybe this would be a Thai driving license because that would have your address on it. Or maybe it would be a letter from the local immigration um, as a proof of address. You can get those as well. So those are the things that you would definitely need um, when opening a bank account um, in Thailand. What you may also need, what is listed on some websites and required by some banks, some banks require a work permit, so some banks only um, let you open an account if you are actually working in the Kingdom of Thailand, so you may need a work permit. 
when you go to open your bank account. And especially if you're not in a tourist area or you're not in a big expat area, you, you probably will find that the local branches, the local banks will only let you open an account if you are working in the Kingdom of Thailand and you have a work permit, they will require that to open an account. So yeah, that is a common document they ask for. I needed to show my work permit when I opened my bank, so that's why I suspect my bank doesn't allow tourists to open an account. However, that things might be different in certain areas, like in Bangkok, maybe they do. Some banks may also require that you have a non-immigrant visa, meaning you're staying in the kingdom long term. And some banks may require proof of Thai residency. So those are all things that I've seen listed online. They're all things that I've seen potentially um, required. And like I said, the first two are the things you will definitely need, even at the most friendly um, most foreigner friendly banks, you will definitely need your passport and some kind of proof of address. Um, if you're going to go and open a bank, that may be the minimal requirements um, that I suspect you would need to open a bank account in Thailand. And below that are the things that you may need. Those are things that I have seen um, that are required. And like I said, the work permit may be required at a lot of banks. So yeah, bear that in mind. It, may, it is difficult. It is more of a challenge to open a bank account in Thailand if you're not working and you don't have that work permit. All right, so that is all I have for you this video. Um, I wanted to make a quick and to the point video about banking in Thailand and what you may need to open an account here in Thailand. So if you found this video useful, please hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you are living in Thailand, if you plan to and move to Thailand and stay long term then definitely consider subscribing because I make a lot of videos about living in Thailand specifically on this channel and that would be a great way to stay in touch with you. In the description to this video I will leave links to the websites I mentioned. I will also most likely leave links to all the different banks I mentioned to their websites so you can get started in looking for a bank in Thailand that suits you. If you have any questions, then please let me know in the comment section. I will do my best to answer any questions in the comment section. If I can answer those questions, then I will gladly do so. Um, so yeah, leave me a message down there if you have any questions uh, that you think I might be able to answer. As always, I greatly appreciate you watching these videos, especially if you made it all the way to the end. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.